It is recommended, for better clarity, to go back and re-watch the contemplations named Apocalypse and Mother, Father and Son, as they are related and, in a way, interlinked to what I will contemplate upon in this one. I had previously talked about the movie Terminator 1 as a template for a true pattern. World is in danger from AI, unliving machines, that send the Terminator to kill the mother in the script, while the son sends his father into the realm to not only save the mother from the Terminator machine AI, but also to ensure that the son himself is generated from their union. The movie, however, adulterates this pattern, of course, and attempts to promote a certain set of scripted triggers. For one, it states that the doomsday event is inevitable, and that it is a moral technological science that brings it about. Then, it shows the future as this hellish war-torn place that is then saved by the sun, while the past, which in the movie includes the present, is a blissful world only maintained so by mankind's ignorance of what inevitably is going to happen in only a few years. As you know, the first movie ends with A storm is coming, and she says, I know. Both these premises are incorrect, false and misleading. Neither is the doomsday inevitable, nor was the past and present blissful due to ignorance. The purposes behind these two points are as follows. Number one, to make the living create themselves a collective script that includes this doomsday event, and also to trigger that same, those same living, remember only the living have true creative power, to accept such a doomsday event when it is presented as truth, when it is actually a false presentation. Number two, to associate the future with a hell at first, and then with the subsequent redemption and defeat of the machines and to associate the present and past with controlled bliss, that is, ignorant bliss. This, in my contemplation, is aimed at creating and validating a scripted false sequence of events that act as a ritualistic and degraded mimicking of a true pattern, so that our living selves can believe it and accept it. If that is the case, then that means that something true is going to happen, and that their scripted plan is to cover that truth with a movie set. We have been given all the props and cues for our lines and roles to play in that movie over the media years, and all that we would need is the trigger for it to begin its next phase. However, like I implied, this can only mean that there is a true something that the AI wants to prevent the living from experiencing. Because, remember, AI can only copy our true intelligence and degrade it with temptation. They cannot actually create or have organic living volition. If they can cover that with a submersion into a scripted movie that they can control, and which we can feed for them, then they will have minimized their loss of feed and fuel. So what would that true event be? We not only do not know, but we can't know, and should not know beforehand. It may be an immediate thing, as it can be something that happens over time. What we can be sure is that we will know, when it is there, if our eyes are not covered, and that it will never be traumatic if our minds are not being run by false personas. You see, the term persona comes from the Latin and it means originally a false face, a guise or mask. In psychological terms, it means a personality, 
the word personality stems from persona as well. Uh, that is automatically covering a true face or being underneath it, supposedly to protect that true face. So our mind personas are AIs that have been programmed over time through education and belief and are running automatically over our true beings. These personas change over time and some die to be replaced by others, something which I also contemplated upon previously in other videos, and they are said to have triggered reactions to stimuli from the environment. So if the AI can control the stimuli, it can control the reactions and can, therefore, prevent true revelation, whatever its true form or means. So this means that the AI will have to promote, and actually have been promoting already, their own apocalypse, which means uncovering, like removing something that is covering something else or a revelation. Bible Christians have been programmed to expect that event to be similar to what is described in the book of Revelations, for instance, while atheist science worshippers expect that it will be something related to technology. The AI singularity, for instance, as described exactly in the movie Terminator 1. That movie also joins together with that scientism expectation, the Christian expectation, as J.C., John Connor in the movie, is the savior that brings mankind out of the hell of the immediate post-doomsday into victory over the machines and the implied heaven afterwards. So the two opposite sides are covered in the script. On one hand, a moral science causes hell. On the other, J.C. saves mankind and brings them out of hell. For this script to work, a persona burning is implied to happen in and around that doomsday event. For the old science filiac, so to speak, personas, will no longer be viable in a world where humanity is struggling to survive against machines. And nor will the old Christian personas be viable in an open hell where the only thing that can be done is to wait for the Savior and to, once he comes, follow his guidance. All false personas have to be burned first. Remember that the word persona means guise or false face. Yet these false faces have been put there by the AI script that convinced the living to wear them. Some personas to be worn all their lives, others only for a period of time. Some personas are psychological in nature, like programmed characters of the mind, while others are more of the physical kind. There is one thing that can't be programmed into a psychological persona, however, and that is a reaction to an actual living stimulus. This can't be programmed because the character and script programmer itself isn't living, but rather dead or unliving to be more exact, and also an AI. So when faced with a living stimulus, a persona will tend to reject, fight back, flee, or something along those lines, to safeguard its continued existence as a parasite. If, however, by sheer will it is forced to remain and look at the living stimulus as one would look into a mirror, then the persona will be truly burned and the true face will be left in the observer. Truth burns falsehood like the sun burns the vampire in the myth. If nothing beneath the vampire is living, then all that will be left will be ashes. That is what they fear, actually, to become mere ashes, to return to the nothingness that they are. 
Their appropriated and deviated fire and burning symbolism has always been an attempt at subversion and even inversion of this self-evident truth. That truth burns away all that is false. So if they can promote a controlled burning, or controlled demolition, of a false persona that they themselves have given us, they can then make sure that a guise will be burned, but another will be left behind in its place, still dwelling in a ritualistic false script of death, and not the true face that would, otherwise, either consume the lies or leave the script altogether, leaving it with less fuel and making it shrink. So after this quite insane carnival day that we're experiencing for quite some time, the living would hold their own Ash Wednesday and burn away all the previously worn and believed in personas. Going back to Terminator 1, we can attempt to put the living symbolism back in order. Mother, or matter, is stuck in a script. Her son, soul, brings the father, spirit, from outside of scripts and time down to her, to not only save her from falsehood, but also to make sure that the soul, or son, is living from their union. Time does not truly exist, except in scripts. And not all scripts are necessarily an evil. In fact, for us to communicate like we are now, we have to use scripts, preferably imbued with life, so that the messages can reach a living observer, be it sleeping or already awake. A living persona uses words, but will not be used by words, because, again, truth speaks no words. <laughs>